Hi, hello, namaste. This is your Shaker from DSM Academy. Today, I'm back with very important video. This is for BCom fourth semester web technology. The students who are having computer applications for that, there is a subject called as web technology. Today, I'm going to give gunshot questions for examination point of view. So, those who are new to my channel, please do like, subscribe, and share. So, here, let's begin. And as you know that the paper pattern that web technology is for 50 marks, right? So the long answer questions are for 8 marks each. 8 marks each into 5 questions you have to write 40 marks. So from first unit he will be asking you 2 questions unit wise. First unit means the two questions, second unit two, two questions, third unit two questions, fourth and fifth. Total 10 questions. So internal choice is that from first unit you have to write any one. In the same manner, every unit can write any one question from two questions. So here, basically the important questions will be here. Let's begin with unit number one. Explain the basic structure of HTML document. So this you can expect in the examination for sure. And next is, what is a table? Explain the attributes of a table. This question is very important beta so if you learn with these two questions it's enough and the remaining two and four you can learn if you don't want to take any risk if you learn one first two one two three it's sufficient why because in exam you have to write only one question so you can go in a preferential order you can go choose any of the two questions so unit number two give a brief note introduction about dhtml and its features very very important question you can expect this question and also similarly explain the differences between html and dhtml is also frequently asked questions from the frequently asked questions you can list out these questions two questions and also the different types of css yeah third wala question be very important gurtu pettukondi ee three questions saripothu nahi meeku chadukodaniki uh, DHTML and features in code which is difference between HTML and DHTML, CC, CSS and different types of CSS. It's enough. And unit number three, define data type, explain various data types available in JavaScript. And uh, next is what is an array, explain how to create array and how to add and access elements in array. This is very important. And explain in detail about the math object. Ye bahut bar pucha question. This question has been asked several times. So you have to uh, make a note regarding these questions. Different types of operators available in JavaScript. So according to me, what are the four questions I have given here? So from that four questions, top two or top bottom two, you can choose. So here, from these three questions, if you learn these three questions, more than enough for your exam. And when coming to unit number four, explain about an error and uh, on error and on focus. Very important question, beta. And also explain about keyboard related events. Exam me puche to keyboard, ne to mouse. Ye dono me se question aata. Keyboard puchta, ne to mouse event puchta. If you learn both questions, one is enough. Keyboard event or mouse event. Discuss in brief about on resize and on select. On resize and on select. Discuss in brief about on submit and on, on unload. So this fifth question has asked several times and also this question two and three asked uh, frequently. So in this uh, unit number four, you have to go with four questions better. So one is keyboard, one is mouse, one is uh, uh, what do you call all this on resize and reselect, etc. Unit number five, explain in detail about syntax and rules for creating XML document. Bahut hi zada important question hai. And XML ka query question puche the query question may be asked in several manners, several different different, but the answer is similar. XML query, right? Explain the XML doc and explain about XML style sheets. Ye bhi bahut hi important hai. One, two, four. If you go with this, it's important. But the students who want to score full marks go with the entire questions, and those who want to pass concentrate on the questions which I have highlighted over here. And let's in the next, uh, this is a long answer type questions. Let's begin with a short answer type questions.
begin with short answer questions so these questions will be for two marks he will be giving you eight questions out of eight you have to write any five so the questions are x sl on load event loop in javascript on drag drop event hyperlinks in html image dom anchor arithmetic operators order list web hosting paid tags dhtml one dimensional array web design principles events css syntax insert an image in web page while loop unordered list on submit array so these are the questions for short answer type so uh, the students please share this video to all your friends sab pass hona hai so anybody can pass so share this video to the maximum people stay tuned keep watching the videos here shaker signing off bye